All right. Hello, everyone. Um, welcome to Fostering Connections through Collaborative Digital Storytelling with Michael Dresick. Um, this session is uh, part of the Digital Storytelling Workshop Series in support of the Digital Story Contest um, that's currently being led by Bronwyn Joyce, um, the founder of The Global Right. Um, so today, Michael is going to um, kind of help us how to, you know, express our thoughts and ideas um, with Buncee's, uh, you know, variety of media tools and uh, show us how students can work together through uh, Bunsey boards to create unique and fun stories. Um, so Michael, I will hand it over to you. Awesome. Thanks so much, Jenna. Yeah, I uh, am excited to be here with everybody from literally all parts of the globe. Thank you so much for taking time out of your day to join in. I'm excited to share as part of this digital storytelling workshop series. I'm a huge fan of digital storytelling and uh, Buncee is definitely one of my go-to tools for that. Um, I'm a tech integration specialist at Lakeshore CSD in Angola, New York. This is my 18th year in education and my eighth year as a district tech coach. Um, we're uh, also participating in this digital story contest. I know we've got some high school students that are writing some short stories, so it's exciting to see what they'll contribute. Uh, so I hope other people are also taking some time to get in on the uh, Buncee writing contest. Uh, it's definitely a, a fun opportunity for kids. So um, yeah, so thanks for having me. I'm gonna jump right into it. Uh, fostering connections through collaborative storytelling. So uh, two words there that are big for me are uh, connections and collaboration. So um, let's just take a look and dive into how Buncee can help with that. Um, I just need to somehow be able to share my screen. So it's just the permissions on that and then I will jump in, um, unless I need to become the host. But um, while we're um, trying to figure that out, uh, I will share here. Of course, the virtual background does not help. Uh, I've got my uh, my Global Buncee book here that I'll be talking about a little bit more um, and, and how you could bring an idea like this to life. It's in the Ideas Lab. Uh, you can search that out and get started. But um, yeah, let's uh, take a look here. Here we go. All right, everyone. Um, so with this, basically with, with any Buncee, I know we're talking about boards. Um, I like to think that, you know, boards are where the magic happens because it's just a space for everybody to contribute to. Um, I'm going to just kind of just jump into some slides here momentarily. And you got to love that the uh, Zoom controls block off all of my Buncee controls, but the forward and arrow buttons are my friends today. So yeah, here we are. Uh, that's me, District Tech Integrator from Lakeshore CSD. And uh, so just a little bit um, about my background. Again, we're a school outside of Buffalo, New York, USA. Love to connect with you on Twitter. I'm at M underscore Drez and uh, blog occasionally at michaeldrezik.com. And I hope to share some good ideas with you today. So uh, I just want to start off by giving the disclaimer that uh, I'm not a writing coach, right? I said in my introduction, I'm a tech coach. I'm a math teacher, actually, turned tech coach. So writing isn't really in my wheelhouse. Uh, however, I've really grown to love it. And I've really, as a tech person, not an integrationist, learned to love the creativity side of writing with technology. So I just put this slide on here that if you're looking for an awesome writing expert and someone to connect with with like that really really digs into the details of quality writing and um that's angela stockman so she's also i put new york on there because she's right here in buffalo with me so she's a good friend uh she's done some work with our school district she's got hacking the writing workshop writing environments uh make writing i would encourage you to if you're not following her follow her work um like again uh just really get inspired by her so i wanted to give that shout out uh, to start if you're looking to really dig into quality writing. But um, I'm just going to just jump into my perspectives on some of this. And, you know, I found this awesome Buncee sticker that says reading is for everyone. So I typed in writing and then I couldn't find anything on writing. And I know that's what this workshop is for. So I'd love to get a, a writing is for everyone sticker. I got Buncee man thinking who is writing for? Well, yeah, writing is for everyone, right? Uh, you know, we start with the reading first uh, as we're developing and then we build into some writing. And, and I think, you know, when, I, when we see that sticker in the Buncee library that says endless possibilities, um, I think that's where the writing can take us in a platform like this. 
So uh, another sticker that I just love is unlock the power of creativity because I'm picturing students having these tools at their fingertips. Um, you know, maybe you get that writer's block and you're just not sure what to do. Can that sticker, can that animation, can that message, can some of those Buncee tools kickstart some ideas um, to get that, I don't say pen to paper, pencil to paper, fingers to keyboard um, output to help that story come alive. So, you know, when you hit that plus button to add an item and you look at all of the things that you can possibly put on the screen, how can some of these tools support our writing ideas? So in, in our cases of our students that are entering in the digital story contest right now, they did a lot of their writing in advance. Uh, you know, they, they were their high school students, they're working through all of the structure of writing and building that up. Um, so they're the authors of their stories, but I love that Buncee is going to also allow them to be the illustrators of their short stories through animation stickers, drawings, and all of these features. So uh, just love that. Uh, there's so many possibilities here in terms of what's going to hit the page. So uh, to start, uh, one of the things that I would encourage you to do is to, is to go to the Ideas Lab and just type in the word story as you search. And, and when I did that, I came up with 31 results, right? Just this first one that came up was chart the events of a story with a story map. Having a game plan is always a good idea uh, when you're making a story. Uh, I'm, the, this book that we came up with, uh, the Global Buncee book, kind of abandoned that. We really didn't have a plan, uh, but that pulled out some creativity and made it kind of fun and kind of silly um, and still hit on some of the learning standards, I'm sure. Uh, and we'll talk a little bit about that. Um, if you head over to the Global Write website, you'll see some of these awesome Buncees embedded in that page with getting started writing a story, um, some templates for you to build your story, to, to develop your characters, to think about your setting and plot. Um, just wanted you to know that that's, this, these are some of the spaces where you can find some of these ideas if you're not sure where to start. Um, so, you know, I, I, storytelling is fun. I said that I'm a huge fan of digital storytelling, but I want to add to that is what if collaborative storytelling is more fun? Um, you know, we have that hashtag better together, right? Two heads are better than one. Um, so let's just dig into a little bit about what that could look like in terms of the collaborative piece of storytelling. So every story starts with page one. And um, I like to think of that launch, that launching point of what is your story starter. But it's the pages that follow to me that are where the, the real magic happens. So what does that look like in a story? All right, before I dig into what we can do with Buncee to make that happen, the reason why I really enjoyed the collaborative projects in Buncee with Buncee boards and collaborative storytelling is it just hits on some of these ISTE standards. Um, I had I did have to throw the uh, core standards for ELA and writing in there. I mean, there's a lot there. And again, I stress, I'm not an English teacher. But I can support the tech and we can bring some of our ideas to life, but I am a huge fan of these ISTE standards. So for me, it's a collaboration. It's a collaboration with the English teacher to making sure we're hitting on the writing standards. And then me saying, hey, did you know these ISTE standards exist? Let's get the students to be global collaborators, digital citizenship, uh, digital citizens, innovative designers and creative communicators. I think those four ISTE student standards get really hit on in a project like this or an activity like this. So I guess the idea started at World Read Aloud Day back in 2019 when the world was a little more normal. Um, it says, hey, let's let's try to see if we can get this book to kind of travel around the world. So with that, um, and if you go to the blog post and I'll share these slides out for people, I can uh, drop them in the chat here as well, um, that, that, you know, it, it kind of walks you through what this could look like. So. Uh, we created a board. That's how it got started. And with the simple creation of a Buncee board, and it's linked up here where you want to click on it and actually take a look at what that board looked like. Um, you, we added a page. So I created a story start, worked with a classroom uh, in my district, and the, those students helped me build the first few pages of the book to set the stage to the story. And then the idea was that we would use the clip and stitch features. Uh, we'd have students make a Buncee, read a page, add a page, kind of like a chain reaction uh, to continue the story. And that book just traveled around the globe. And uh, you can see here that th it ended up with 18 Buncees. Some classes even made multiple pages. Um, I love the fact that they're adding comments and giving reactions um, in a situation where you might want to have your students vote on their favorite page for the next part of the story. You can use the reactions um, to do that voting process or require students to add a comment um, expressing what they like about it or leaving some constructive feedback. So with that, um, it 
basically evolved into Abby's Awesome Adventure. Um, and this was actually a cover designed, I believe it, this was Edith's class and Edith's on the webinar now in, in Rhode Island that designed this amazing cover. Um, it looks very professional. I love the hot dogs and the dog in outer space and, and Buncey Man reading and the, and the girl with the cape. And then obviously you gotta have the QR code that'll help bring this um, physical story to life uh, and bring all those media assets to life in the book. So, uh, and, and you know, what did it do? How far did it travel? 23,208 miles page to page, cover to cover, and some of the classes um, that were involved. So it hit some different states, it hit some different countries. Um, and uh, we also had the students, which I thought was cute, add uh, the audio of themselves reading their page that they created um, to really bring it to life. So that was in 2019. And we said, well, that was a hit. Kids had fun. Teachers had fun. Can we get more classes to get involved in volume two? So, you know, we had to find the right timing of this Global Collaboration Week in 2019. Did it again. It's a mission to save the world. Um, basically looking at some of the sustainable development goals. And so, again, got the story starter and put that first page, right? Right. The first page, every, every story starts with the first page, but where the magic happens in the, is in the pages that follow. And these classrooms added more pages and built the story and passed it from one classroom to the next. This one, 25 Buncees, over 3,000 views, right? 125 reactions, comments, so people subscribing so they would get a notification if something was added so that they could continue the story or at least read the story with their class. Um, they're able to kind of have that interactive piece to, to see it grow. So this turned into Buncey Man Saves the World, another global Buncey book uh, that we could page through and, and really see how that story grows over time. So um, I guess, you know, with this one, you can see this one, uh, the last one went 20 some thousand miles. This one happened to go 40 some thousand miles with a lot more classes participating. You can see some of the classrooms over there, um, so, some Buncey buddies that I recognize and some classes, some Buncey using classes that just wanted to get involved. Uh, we even integrated a fun Google Earth tour that went to every school that wrote a page on the book. So the students in the classroom can kind of see who are the authors in this book? Um, so I thought that was fun, a fun way to kind of app smash Google Earth and Buncey together. So um, yeah, the boards are what I see as, as being magic, right? Uh, so we can make our Bunceys and we can do all that awesome writing and creation on a page or multiple pages. But I think making a board and giving everybody a space to see each other's work, to comment, to offer reactions, um, to possibly have some collaborative storytelling here where someone starts with one page and that story grows um, as it goes on uh, through creativity. So uh, again, I think storytelling is fun, but I, I do think collaborative storytelling is much more fun. So um, I like to say, you don't need to reach the world to create this experience. Uh, there's already a world of awesome inside your classroom and school walls. So let's foster connections, collaborate and make an awesome story together. So uh, I'm going to take you through the process, I guess, of what this could look like, maybe for people that are, are new here. And I would love it if somehow you could use the ideas that you learn and get some of the help uh, or get inspired to do this with your students and submit uh, into this digital story contest that's open until November 26th. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and escape out of this, Buncey, and just kind of take you through... Um, some of the, the, the board that we have here for the, the first story here. Um, you can see the pages here being added. Um, I wanna say the first one right here was, yeah, the first, the first page of the story uh, that, that got this thing kicked off was, you know, Abby was always full of adventure. Today, she was feeling extra curious. So all of these stickers and, um, you know, that I said, this, the story, every story starts with a page one. We actually added a few pages here to start this one out um, so that it was a little bit easier for classes to build on it. Sometimes it's hard to squeeze it all into one page. So, right, they're going to take a trip to the city. Here, there's a brand new uh, playground on Main Street. So here we go. Whoa, did you see that? So just by having that fun little UFO alien sticker in the Buncey collection, it gave room for the story to take a creative turn. And um you know, Buncey Man saying, are you sure a trip to the city is good? Like Buncey Man doesn't want to go <clears throat> and see what's up with that. And then I just put where, who I was <clears throat> um, and 
where I was from in the world. And that's what helped us to track the miles between <laughs> classrooms. So you can see that another uh, classroom here added to the story. Uh, and I, I love that now they're pulling in the aliens, they're in the city, uh, and it says we must find hot dogs and bring them home to our planet. So I had no idea that the story would take a turn into aliens searching for hot dogs, but uh, what a fun way for the classrooms to, to, to get a laugh out of that and also build on some creative writing. Um, again, not an English teacher, so, um, you know, I'd have to really work on the student with the students and that teacher to help, you know, okay, are we hitting on the grammar? Um, are we hitting on the, the story structure? And, and what that looks like at the first grade level is going to be a lot different than what that looks like at the high school level. Um, but, you know, and here you go, you could see this was a classroom in Long Island of, of third graders. So they just added one page and said, okay, well, that's our page. And um, here comes our, our friends from Rhode Island here. Um, from I think it's Westerly Middle School um, and as Abby and Bunsy Man strolled towards the city your dog caught a whiff of some delicious delectable Dresdick hot dogs I did not know that I would become the chef in this story but that class had some fun with that and boom they added their um, their their information to the to the page and then at some point what we're going to do here is we're going to open these and clip all of these and stitch them together into what was right here the finished book so and then we added this to the board, obviously, for everyone to see. So you can see it's got 39 pages. It said this, the journey to the hot dog planet. So they even gave that story and, um, you know, gave a little introduction. Um, and yeah, so that's kind of the idea behind using a board to collect the Bunsies and then stitch all those pages together into a single Buncey book. If you're unfamiliar with clipping and stitching, it's right here these scissors so when you're logged in you simply click the scissors just like that and you can select the page that you'd like to clip and you clip that page and then when you're in edit mode and you're going to add a page so like if i were to edit this buncy right here um, i don't want to edit my finished product too much but i just want you to see how easy this is to do so i clip the page i could have clipped multiple pages um, and There'll be a plus sign. Sorry, my computer doesn't like that. I have a lot of tabs open. Go figure. I uh, hit the plus side right here, and it's going to say, "Would you like to um, add a blank page, or would you like to stitch it?" Well, in this case, I'm going to stitch this page together, and it's going to give me all of those pages with their animations, with the audio, um, all of this stuff right here. Yeah, that was the page that I want to stitch in here, right? So I could stitch in any of the pages that were clipped. So it's just really as simple like a cut and paste. Um, here's the board for the other Bunsy book, the volume two. You can see that, again, the story started. I don't think I should, we didn't show the start of that story. Um, there's uh, just some general creation tools and some keys to a great story. Uh, how you could use, this was Global Collaboration Week. I mentioned that they could use uh, immersive reader, just given some resources in there in the board. So that was an idea. Any Buncey resources you want to give to your students, you can also put them in there. And here's page one, right? Again, every story starts with the first page. And this one was going to be titled Buncey Man Saves the World, right? He set off to school. This day was sure to be a day like none other. And, um, you know, so what does that mean? Um, you know, what is, what could happen on this day? And then we head into page two. So these were all done separately. They weren't done as like three pages in one Buncey, although that could have been done and you could have very easily uh, clipped those pages and stitched them together, right? Buncey man was carefree today, whistling as he had entered the classroom. So just building that classroom scene, setting the story. And you can see here's again. So I started off with in this case with three pages for people to build on, similar to the past Global Buncey book. And um, talking a little bit about the UN Sustainable Development Goals, um, you know, Buncey Man raised his hand, but Mrs. Miller, my family tells me I'm the laziest person I know. How can I possibly save the world? And uh, she says, even you can change the world. I, I challenge you to try. So we worked in our Buncey buddy, uh, Shannon Miller, into the story. And the idea would be that Buncey Man would head out and look for, even though he's lazy, look for ways to make the world a better place. So to try to tap into some of those SDGs while 
while doing some story writing. So that was that uh, board. And then boom, the, the book was very easily clipped and stitched together. And you've got some classrooms around the world uh, collaboratively writing a story. So uh, I thought for the sake of this webinar, um, if, if the interest is there from some people that are on here, I said, maybe we could have a new global Buncey book story starter. Uh, if I don't have a story start, I started the last two, but I thought it could be some fun since the students are entering the contest for some writing. Um, you could enter your story starter here as a Buncey page, and maybe we could use yours to kick off Buncey global Buncey book volume three. So, um, that's, I've just put it out there. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and drop the link to this in the chat that uh, so that anyone that's here today has a copy of this Buncey board. Just open up the chat there and uh, there you go. There's the board. If anybody wants to just have some fun with that and throw the first page of a potential book on that board, um, you could be the, the starting class and we could maybe pass this thing around the world and see if maybe we can get it to travel more than the 40 some thousand miles that it traveled last time. So um, I did also mention that uh, I should I should share uh, the slides to this presentation um, in case you'd like to save this for anything. Um, I believe you could even make a copy of it and add it to your collection. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and throw that in the chat right now as well. Again, Zoom is really not liking that I have a bunch of tabs open because the my pop-up window is very, very slowly opening. All right, and that is the um, the slides to this session. Um, I don't know if, if any questions were coming through. I would love to, to hear from anybody here if anyone's tried anything like this. Um, the other thing I say is that, it, it, and I'd like to stress, is that this does not need to be global. It could be a Buncey book that's just within your classroom. I know one of the things that I'm trying to do at Lakeshore, teachers are overwhelmed their tax. Sometimes it's tough to try to find or rely on someone from another uh, school or another country, state or another country uh, to add a page at, at, that meets your timeline. So I know we have three fifth grade classrooms in the same school. Well, those three classrooms, because the teachers are close to each other, are going to try to build and write their own book with their classes of uh, like a collaborative fifth grade story. Um, using Buncey, using the same idea of writing a page, adding it to the board, everybody votes on it, whether it be a comment or a reaction that gets a vote, um, and then stitching it together and building that story as a class. Um, and then potentially even printing that and having a classroom book. I, I love the idea of, of building a school library with students as authors. So if we're looking to empower our students, I think that that's kind of a fun way to do it. You could even have uh, get the parents involved. You could have the parents potentially write a page with their child and, and have them as authors to get some parent engagement as well. Uh, maybe the principal or administrator at your school. I think it could be a fun way to build school community as well. So um, that was really uh, what I wanted to, to share related to how you can use boards, how you can build a collaborative story, how you could have some fun with it. Um, hopefully you got an idea. Uh, would love to see some people potentially add a one page story starter on here. It could take you five minutes to make a, a one page Buncey that kicks off a story and throw it on this board and we'll see where it goes. And maybe we could have some, uh, some students or someone, some people vote on their favorite and try to kick off an actual global Buncey book volume three, some friends here. So yeah, I don't know if anyone has, uh, I'm not sure if um, anyone has any questions, but I'm, I think I can stop sharing my screen right now and, and bring it back. Um, yeah, cool. <laughs> you're right. Thank you, Michael. Thank you. Um, yeah, I don't, I don't see any questions. I think everyone is just um, super impressed with all your, uh, all your Buncey abilities. Um, and yeah, I mean, the, the, the global Buncey book is like, it's just such an incredibly, cool project that you came up with. Um, so thank you for, you know, sharing the inspiration and um, giving everybody these really great ideas. Um, yeah, like as far as the, the uh, Global Buncey book goes, like 
uh, that was really a success because of the other Buncee users that were willing to contribute, right? Like if it's just me putting out one page into the world, the story kind of just ends there. So it was really nice that Buncee has uh, a passionate global community of ambassadors, Buncee users, you name it, um, people that are just looking for creative ways to engage their students and people just jumped in and had some fun with it. So uh, I really liked what they came up with and some of the creative ideas. So I know if you click on the link on the board in my slides, that takes you to the finished book uh, for each of those. If you're just curious to read through it and see what's possible. Um, yeah. Yeah, click definitely everyone take a look for sure. Um, and yeah, so like, like Michael said in the beginning, um, if you're looking to participate in the digital story contest, um, go to Ideas Lab. Go to buncee.com, visit Ideas Lab, type in story, type in writing. Um, and there's a lot of really cool writing prompts and ideas um, available. Um, and just let, let students get creative with it, let them have fun. And, uh, you know, obviously, as, as we can see with uh, Michael's project, they just come up with the, be the best stuff. Um, <clears throat> So yeah, definitely leave it open. And thank you again, Michael, for sharing with us. Uh, yeah, someone was asking for the slides. I'm, oh, because I was only sharing it to hosts and panelists and not everyone. See, that was my fault because I was trying to do mid presentation. So those were the slides, I'm sorry. And this was the um, board to, I said, hey, if we want to maybe try this thing again, uh, that's my fault for not putting it in the right part of the chat. <laughs> Sorry about that. <laughs> See, even tech integrators screw up. Here you go. So and, and <laughs> the board um, that I just put in there, it's it's a blank board. I don't know. It might stay blank, but if anyone here on the chat gets, uh, feel is feeling creative tonight and wants to uh, uh, start a, a story page or have their students try one, uh, we could just put that thing back into orbit and see if this thing could travel around the world again. Awesome. Super exciting. Yeah. Somebody get in there. I want to <laughs> see it happen. <laughs> yeah. Thank All you right. so much, everybody, for taking All time right. for joining today. Thank you, Michael. Thank you, everyone who joined in. Wonderful. Have a great night.